Roach, 8 for, leads Surrey to innings win. Hampshire's first innings collapse was made to look even worse by Surrey, who led by a Hashim Amla double hundred, batted their way to 513 for 3 at the end of the second day. But would they re-emerge on day 3 with their lead 421? Amla retired injured on 215, but that brought folks to the crease. He'd be unable to replicate the knocks of so many of his colleagues, out feeling at one outside of his off stump from Curry. Clark wouldn't be far behind him. He was bowled by one that nipped back at him from Wheel, out for naught. Set bat Jamie Smith couldn't build on his already impressive knock. Early on the shot, he handed Vince a catch, and Curry is third. They ticked over to 550 runs, but the attacking intent of the hosts would be their downfall. A big swipe from Clark sent Skyward and taken by Curry. That would be enough for Burns. The skipper waved them back in with the score 560 for 7, and their lead now a huge 468 runs. The hosts had totally dominated the first two days of play. Amla's double hundred was a real highlight, while Pope kept up his great form with another ton. Curry finished with four wickets, but for 109 runs. Surrey had a good start with the ball in hand as well, less than 40 runs on the board when Clark found Weatherly's pads, the change in bowling paying off. Roach then got in on the act, Ian Holland out LBW for 18. And then he had Northeast, his innings over before it started, out for a three ball duck. There was a third for the West Indies paceman, Allsop only able to edge through to Clark, and Hampshire headed into lunch at 51 for four. James Vince was out after lunch, his innings a familiar one, some gorgeous drives whipped to the boundary, and then out, caught behind for 10. It was looking like the only question left to answer was when this one would finish. Could Dawson and McManus hold on and protect the tail? They lasted long enough at least to bring three figures up, an improvement on their first innings return. The partnership was worth 50, Hampshire enjoying their best spells so far. But all good things come to an end, and Dawson had to go. Roach had a fourth when he was struck on the pads. And he had five in his next over, Curry out LBW, and Surrey were now just three wickets away from the win. McManus and Abbott were defiant through to T. They went in at 145 for seven, but could they survive through to the close? They'd at least take them to 150, but it wouldn't be long before Surrey had another. Abbott was Roach's sixth, caught by Clark for 21. And then he had a seventh, wheel out LBW, and the hosts were just one wicket away from victory. A boundary from McManus took him to his 50, but that would be a final flourish for Hampshire. Roach was a fitting bowler to seal the win for Surrey. McManus well taken down the leg side by Folks, an eighth for the West Indies International, and 10 in the match. Surrey had absolutely steamrolled their way to an innings victory over the form side in the LV County Championship. They'll stick that feather in their cap on their way to the Upton Steel County ground to face Leicestershire. Hampshire, meanwhile, returned to the Aegeus Bowl, hoping to get back to winning ways against Somerset.